Hello and welcome to the Pirate King Plays Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The last we left our hero, we uh, cleared the waters of the Zora's Domain and uh, then made our way here to um, unlock another fairy. We've unlocked three of them now. So, where we're going now? There's there's a bunch of stuff I could do. There's a bunch of quests that I haven't gone or finished yet, and I really should. But what I'm going to do... Unless... Right. Did we ever talk to that guy after taking that picture? I don't think we did. Yeah. We also have these to turn in, but we haven't turned this one in yet. Um... So we could go and do that and then come back here, and I think that'll be fine. But what I want to do is the Dueling Peaks, as are right here, because there's a bunch of stuff. There's caves and also a bunch of Koroks along the way. Plus, we might be climbing a lot, not really sure. And then there'll be a tower over here, and I think the teardrop, uh, the next teardrop for the story bit, is over here. I'm like, oh man, we're real close. I should go and do that. I should really turn in some of the quests we had first. Uh, we'll come back, don't worry, and we'll be technically closer to the direction I was going anyway. But, like, okay, I did, I did a thing and then went near the guy and didn't actually turn the quest in. I should probably do that. Don't even know what he's going to give me for it. Oh, you can see in the bottom corner there the, uh, sages we currently have. Love that. Love that we freak those guys out. Uh... Here you are. Uh... A vision of Princess Mifa grasping her light scaled trident in the moonlight. So lovely! Your breath would catch at the sight of her. Though she were an ethereal being of flesh and blood. Take a look at this. <gasps> mm. Is this... It is! This perfectly captures a vision of Princess Mipha that has been burning brightly in my mind's eye. Such loveliness. I think I was able to set eyes on this vision that I was so sure I would never see again for all my days. I think I cannot thank you enough. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this Zora sword. Hmm? Wait a moment, you're carrying too many items, warrior. Make some room, then return. Keep your belongings organized and essentialized. Are you serious? Am I holding something that I would want to drop? Let me let me just drop something so I can take it from you and then I'll so we can complete the quest. <laughs> Something I once used myself, though it is now decayed, as it has life yet in... It has life in it yet. Please put it to good use. <laughs> Just to relieve, my mind is now at ease. It is as though the sun has at last pierced through the clouds of my mind. Which is past, so much has changed, and forever the loyal subject of our ro Zora Royals, the King Sidon. <laughs> Uh, my guild's fear is clear as the day I was born. Cheers to a new era. May it shine brightly for years to come. Oh, and he actually moves on now. Alright, well... Don't actually want it. Do I? Uh, the whole thing about putting the, the shield on this claymore is so that I can block while attacking. Um... Question is, do I want to attach it to the end of the Zora sword so I have a? Uh... Oh, we don't have a picture yet. That I could have a uh, one-handed, two-handed sword instead of a shield sword. 
but no, I think I'll... Okay. Um, right. Turn that in, and there was one other thing for which I want to put that Zora armor back on. Look at all that red we have in here. I think someone was supposed to give me this quest, but I don't remember who. And I don't think we actually... Hold on. Hello, Yona. I thought I was prepared to become a queen, but now it's actually coming to pass in disbelief. At the very least, I must strive very hard to ensure I do not embarrass myself. Yes, yes. To start, I shall prepare my dear Sidon's throne. Yeah, the exalted Dorophon will be returning to his palace as well. Yeah, speaking of... Where are the buildings here? Like, we have this one central plaza, and... That's... It? Is that it? <laughs> like, we don't see any houses around. Like you do in the, uh, Hylian town. Leave down below here. Um, there's also a Korok down there, but yeah, no, we should just. No, 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 no! I don't want to go up it. We need to go behind it. If I have to take off the Zora armor to do that, I might have to. Yep. Discovery. Cave under Zora's domain. Also, yeah, we're just gonna put that on. Oh, there's a chasm here. That's not what I thought I was coming here for. Oh. Um. Just in case. I wasn't coming here for the castle. for this waterfall, either there's something behind it or I need to go up. So we're going to check for something behind it first. There we go. on a different shirt to go through a waterfall because the other one makes me swim up it. <laughs> Varuta Divine Helm! Because after each sage, there's one of these Divine Helms. Uh, we're gonna need to anyway because we're about to fast travel. Where are you? There you are. Swim speed up. Zora in a time beyond memory. So it's between the bond with the Zora when one by Hylian. Yep, elephant mask. The uh these divine masks are based on the divine beasts from Breath of the Wild. Bameto, Varuta. 
Va Naboris and Va Meadow, I believe. Okay, now that I got those, we can go back to the Dueling Peaks. And yes, I know I didn't actually get the quest to go and get that one like we did with uh, Tulin, but I knew where it was and I wanted it, so I went for it. By the way, another game I've really been anticipating is coming out apparently next week. That'll be Final Fantasy 16. I have it pre-ordered and everything. But we're still playing this, and I want to finish this first. Okay. So yeah, Dueling Peaks is a giant split mountain. Question becomes, how do I get any of this stuff in here? on the side over there too. Oh, that's Sky Stone. And of course it's raining and it's gonna be raining for a bit. Just when we're about to do like probably some climbing. I wasn't expecting this to just be an empty path. But there's a cave that we should be coming across soon, maybe? I don't know if it's like way up there or something. I got the one in that section. The one in this section is over this way, so I guess if we... Hey, there it is. Oh, and we can see a geoglyph from here? How? Why is it up like that? Not the one we're going for, by the way. Hmm. I was hoping we'd just come across the cave this way, but I guess not. That's the geoglyph we're going for. I feel like that they glow, even in the, like, in the rain and stuff. I would've just climbed. I would've just climbed! But it's raining! We don't have any sticky foods, do we? No, we got sneaky. Didn't even come close enough. It. Oh, this just isn't going to work now, is it? Oh yeah, climb speed is way up. Okay, hit it over here. I've seen some... Interesting stuff being done with this game from that. Ooh, there's our ticket up. But, like, ways to use the power actually I'm about to use that I wouldn't have even thought. Above the rain. I do want the other pieces of the, the glide armor too. Oh, I went down farther than I thought.
try and get on the, uh, as high up as I could, but that would actually be on the other side. Oh, hello. I can see from here. Let's see. Is that is that the castle? That might be the castle. Yeah, I think it is. Huh. Are we going this way first? That alcove. Let me check this first. I think there's anything. Look. <laughs> we gotta get to, uh, his face about the Korok seeds soon. Though, to be honest, we're gonna be going back that way, uh, specifically after I get this. After I get all I want to do here. So. Oh, there's a cave on that side. I don't think I wanted to do this one yet. I'll walk in so I get the discovery. Boom Peak South Cave. I think I need to go to the North Cave first. That's it. break. Oh, not yet. Okay. My actual strong hammers. Let's go with this one. Puzzle solution. That's why we had to go here first. Fight anymore. Climbing gear. 
level that, those up, but I need, I think, electric key swings. About to stop right now. We need to get back up over there. can't be the same path we were on before, yeah? Did I really pass by that cave without noticing? No, I don't- no, this is the same path. Let's see how far we can climb now that I'm no longer slipping. Oh wow, yeah, the, the full set climbing speed is much faster. Odd brightness. What we went around before? Yeah, this one. Now. So many giant things in my back. Just figured we're gonna be mining stuff in the other cave, so I'll leave this weapon on. something in the other cave. Well, I guess it would have had to be a, a, a bubble frog, I guess. Come on now. Come on. Come on, you bitch. Open up. Move closer, Link. up plus four. Well, let me drop my other phrenic bow then. Also, do I have a picture of that? Oh. Soldiers play more. Our bubble frog here. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yeah, I should have looked around more in the other cave. I'm sure there was a bubble frog there. But it's lower down than this one, so we can go back after. Oh. Okay, here's our puzzle. And it seems it's what, rocks on... Ah, they're switches.
armor. What do we got? What's our outfit? Tangle shirt! It was once a man who claimed to be the very reincarnation of a fairy. He treasured this shirt, so we, so will you. After all, it's a rare, rather rare find. Kululimpa! Motherfucking tingle. Why does it look? Bad. Well then, we got Tingle's shirt. That means Tingle's set is in here, and that's not really surprising, but it is amusing. Oh, guess we're just gliding all the way out. Like I said, I think we missed something. Whoa, dropped down a lot farther than I expected. Oh. Ah, here we go. This is what I missed. And there it is. Two of this brings me. did this. I do want to go across to the other side, but I feel like that's going to be more difficult than I want. Let's get that, maybe? No, I do want to go across, though. Good. Is there actually anything here? Was I just Oh dear. Not. Not 
something over here, but it'll get us a boost up. Oh, is that a shooting star? Probably way too far away. They always look closer than they are. be able to go anywhere from there. However, I do see you from here, so we'll mark that. Huh. That was interesting. Yeah, I think I'd have to go directly toward that. Is that the same? Yeah, that that's the same dragon as before, I think. Yeah, Nadra. Oh, right. Let's, uh, Boost our way up. No. Oh. Oh? Really? Wait, have we been here? We have been here before. Okay. I, I don't need to stay here. We did. did we, we didn't. Where'd he go? Shit, where'd he go? I saw it go down and then we missed it. I knew exactly what that was supposed to be, but yeah. Oh well. I'm curious where I can go. Also, did I construct something like this recently? Uh, my favorites. Do we have two? It's here. Here. No stick. We go and you that that's a useful thing so we're gonna favorite that I don't know if I have a limit on my favorites let's set you up in a direction first Whee! oh we're going the wrong way This way. Oh, there's a shrine down there, and also the. Where do we go to? 
Yeah, if I run out of power, we're on a wing, so it's just gonna glide. I think we'll go to that shrine first because it is on the way. Let's actually take a nosedive, shall we? I don't want this close by. I'm I'm sorry? Is there durability on the wing itself? Yep. The wing broke. The fuck? Alright, well, I see a Korok right here, so I'm gonna get that first. And then we're gonna do that shrine, and then go towards the tower. There it is. Oh, and there's a so uh, Hudson sign over there. That's okay. We'll we'll do that after the shrine. One high jump, yeah. For a limited time. Rocket doesn't last long. Built for rails. Interesting. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Is this really what we're supposed to do? I think I've seen clips from this shrine, and it just seems weird. There's other building material. Oh. Not, not yet. Yeah, in a moment. Oh, hold on. the only elixir I'd want to use so far. Wait, hold on. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no I, I wanted to keep it that way. Hold on, I know what I'm supposed to do here. That way, it doesn't slide off. Uh, it's correct, yeah? Too wide? Did I make it too wide? I think I made it too wide. I'm afraid that might happen. Uh, up please. No? One at a time, then. Literally reattaching it from the side to there. we go. I wonder if I even have to do this. Can't we go on rails on my shield surfing? I think I just made this for no fucking reason. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe I want to actually do this how the, how the shrine wants me to do it. Or maybe I need these for further construction up this way. Nope, they gave us construction materials here. Got it. A similar thing, but I think they are meant to be at the end of this one. here. It's not gonna just let gravity take it because we need to go up. So, fan time! Actually, that would be cool. How about here, on the other side, and then one on top. Oh no! What is this? Oh dear. Uh... I think we're stuck. I hadn't. This is why we had that third... Oh dear. This is why there was a third one of the- of the- of the squares.
Try that again. If that actually lines up right. It does! Oh jeez, please stay. Let's see if I can glide that, but no. No, we gotta take it the whole way. Gotta take it the whole way. Yeah, no, this is exactly the design they wanted us to do. I didn't have fun with it. I did have fun with it. it actually, this, this is pretty cool. I believe all monster eyeballs turn your arrows into homing arrows. Hey, uh, what's your name? Addison. What do we have to build with around here? Rocks? We have rocks. Um. Let's stack some rocks. This is not gonna help it, is it? Oh, it does have the thing on the back there. Ah. Uh. This is what we need, I just need to uh. Yay, it worked! Ticket. I still need to see how many pony points I actually need to have all of them because only after that will I use the uh um Roche. Fight, I might as well be prepared for fighting. Oh, you're armored. Oh, that was close enough to get me. Great. I hate when that happens.
Have a goblin guts. Oh. It's getting blown up by the wind. That's really funny, honestly. Though it sounds cool, it is not. It's just a Boko shield or a spiked Boko shield with an armor shard on it. Okay. Roche just go down. Yep. Couple of foothills, Skyview Town. Oh! Alright. Uh. Uh oh. It'd be broken. Oh, look, a well. With a help! Person. Oh man. What's an Elmer Fudd voice? <laughs> Shh. Well, hunting wabbit. You. What are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? What's wrong? <clears throat> I set off a trap in the world and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. This is too close to my maestro voice. Oh. You see a switch? You press that. Should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging you, mister. I'll just be waiting here, trusting you. Alrighty. Oh, what am, what am, what am, I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Just go up. <laughs> That's how I get out of here. As much as I would have liked, oh, there's another. Huh. There goes. As much as I would have liked to, uh... ooh, bloopy. I'm in the wrong place. There we go. Much as I as I would have liked uh, all these towers to be easy, just go there and do it. Um, it is pretty cool that they're making them puzzles as well. Cave entrance is there, but there's also a well here. Let's do the well first. Opal of Hills South Well. You never actually hurt yourself falling into a well. They usually put water at the bottom, or um, or you just don't get hurt.
The road of a gourmand is fraught with thorns. That's why I chose to travel alone. But this life does have its share of lonely nights. It's when you need to shine a light to keep the darkness at bay. Those newly discovered bright ingredients have the strange effect of making the body glow. I recently discovered that the intensity of the light changes depending on the materials you use. For instance, when I ate a dish cooked with a glowing cave fish, I produced more light than I did after my bright cap dish. I wonder if the effect is more powerful the harder the ingredient is to collect. Or could the quantity of each material play a part somehow? I clearly have more experimenting to do. There's no shame in not knowing, for beyond that lies the joy of knowing. Tonight, I am the candlelight. Chef Oritamu, the lonely cook. Really? Is that all that's in this well? Fair enough. Just some glowing stuff and a chef talking about glowing. Now we go in. Discovery, Popolo Foothills excavation site. Bunch of ruins. I knew you'd rescue me. Not much, but please take this. Thank you. Mm. That's what lure me into this trap. I don't even want to look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. Wait, I don't have time to chat. I have urgent business at the tower, so I have to go. Thanks again. He repairs the tower. We get that chest and whatever else is down here, because it looks like there's a few different directions to go. Oh, never mind. The purple rupee is what was in the chest. I have so many bright caps. Too many bright caps. Wait, how do I get to that chest, though? Uh, might have. That's how I get to the chest. By bringing the chest to the switch, it lets me in and get it. Nice. That's a interesting way to get a to solve a chest puzzle just okay so yeah um bring the chest to you <laughs> all right did you fix my tower Hello, mister. Thanks again for saving me. I was only in the area in the first place to do maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to the humidity, but I fixed it in Jiffy. Mm. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delays. I need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. Probably caused trouble for my friends at the construction company, so I'm going to get moving as soon as I calm down. Yeah. Was that the Great Sky Island behind us? Service map updated. Ooh, Lake Hylia. That's a dangerous place. 
Check in the map or anything else. Oh, hey, one of these. Obviously, one of the baddies. Now I have to wonder if we've been there. Map checking time. Oh, it's down there. See what these are first, then. Oh, that's over where the relief is. So we'd have to go there first. Uh, nothing on these. Alright, we won't get the relief quite yet. And some rockets. I think we're going to need those rockets. Love a good flight in this game. Also, I'm sure there was something on top of that that I definitely could have landed on and missed. Maybe. Or there's nothing. I don't think there's anything on the map changing that. see when we're on top of this. But yeah, that's the Great Sky Island up there, I think. I th yeah, that is the right direction. And yeah, that's the clouds. Something tells me there's something uh, torturous up there for us. Can I actually get on top of this? I can! And there's nothing but a light. This is a lighthouse. Yep, that's our blue marker. We're heading in that direction after this anyway. I don't know if it'll still be there when we get there. Yep. 
that attached correctly. Whoa, okay. I don't think that went where I wanted it to go. No, that's... I didn't go where I was supposed to go there. Oh dear. Yeah, that's that's wrong. We we did not... It, it, it didn't go up like it was supposed to. I want to do that again. Uh, are we high enough to get the relief, though? Where was it? This way? Yeah. There it is. I don't know if we can get to that. We may not be high enough. Fuck, that didn't work how it was supposed to. Annoyed. Glint. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to it. If that's the case, we're just gonna... I don't think we'll be able to glide all the way there. Tower... Oh, tower's right there. Tower's right there. Yeah, we're too low for that. We'll let the tower launch us again. We'll do this right, damn it. Boom! <laughs> no fun cutscene, just just a giant old launch. So yeah, what happened was those rockets sent it, uh, sent it straight into the ramp rather than up the ramp. I don't know if I need the rocket or not, or if what happened was I was supposed to put it up here. But let's... Try this again. Make sure it's in the right place or Oh, the rockets aren't here. The rockets didn't recover. It means we only needed the fans to begin with. No no no. Up. Up. Keep going up. Keep going up. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah, here we go. Now we made it. Take out my fucking glider when I jump like that. I wonder if I should start doing these twice. I do have a lot of these. Construct. A Zonai device that always faces whatever it deems an enemy. Attach a, com a combat Zonai device to the head for homing attacks. 
Oh, okay. So that explains how it works. Launcher here, which is where I want to go. Oh. Um. Ourselves another sky crystal or shrine crystal. Do have a picture of shock fruit yet? Yes, we do. I do like that it gives us a fast travel before we do the shrine. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it to, at the light. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Hold up. I'm sorry, is it all the way over at that island? Okay, it's not quite as far as it looked. Unless it's actually pointing to that. I don't think it is. Right. Also, the fact that the Zonai stuff is like made of stone, it's very, uh, what is it? Name? Native Central American. Um, but it makes this clanking noise when we walk around that I'm not entirely a fan of. Okay, yeah, this seems to be firing off in a useless direction. That actually helped me as a question. Um, that's somewhere. No, that's where I need to go. By so going this way, there's another launch pad. for diving upward. Great. Alright, now let's build a new plane. Hold up. Is that a gun? First of all...
There we go. Now, looking at what else we have. We have more batteries. We have another rocket. We have a control. Not you. Very useful. No, not there. I think this is a gun. Now, I don't know why we would need these. I'm going to grab them anyway. And we got some more batteries here as well. Two more. Have another rocket. Should I give myself two rockets? Is the question. Don't think I'm gonna need them. Do now. This. This. Well, boys, time to fly. One of you can already do that, but this one has been done. Okay. Well, it still exists, at least. I'm entirely sure how long it'll last, being that apparently wings have durability. A picture of a dazzle fruit? That's what I thought. Um. Aha. Need that to lift off again. Though I do wonder if I should go and check out what's on top of the island first. Fly this thing back. Let's do that. Because there's definitely at least a Korok up here. They probably intended for me to land up here. Not in the place down there. down. Er. Which was the way in? What side?
It's gotta be this side, right? Looking at my map now. First of all, you can attach some more batteries to, uh, Make sure we're good on that front, though we're definitely fine. Guns on here. Oh, I was worried for a second there. Offers the crystal I will grant you a life that banishes evil. Yeah, let's get this thing. We know what it does. And then we'll get just a chest and the thing right in front of us. Raru's blessing. Ukuji, Ukuji Shishu. Ukuji A mighty Zonite shield? We do have one of them here. I'm kind of waiting until this one breaks on its own. So yeah, we'll, we'll get one of, one of these. After this we have 40s and then 50s and then 65. Yeah, we're doing well on shields. to know it was easy to make flying machines. Is flying machine still here? No, it isn't. Hmm. Well. I believe that little island right there has a Korok on it. I'll get there. I can launch myself. That'll do. <laughs> has me going back here. That was going to be one I have to dive off for again. Huh. Wait, where'd he go? Wasn't it right here? Did I not get there in time? Show that again.
Oh shit, I missed. Actually missed. <laughs> Instead of just losing track of it. Oh, is there something down? <laughs> Wouldn't let me dive. <laughs> okay, that's that. I guess that's just if we happen to fall off and get over here in time. There doesn't seem to be a chest or anything over there, just platforms and rockets to get back up. Um, not from where we are. Oh, we're right over the Dueling Peaks. We need to go this way. So, ah, huh, over toward the Great Sky Island. You know. This way, right? Yes. Maybe that was actually going the right direction already. This will do. There it is. That's where we're headed. peaks down. Clouds going down. Not going to be able to make it all the way there. So, okay, uh, well, we're on the geoglyph. Be. I thought I was landing in the right spot. Give me a moment. just be right in front of me, which would be hilarious. Memory time!
Oh shit! Ganondorf! Of the Gerudo! Is that... Great Plateau? Hyrule will bow down before me. Hi, Matt Mercer. Same secret stone existing twice at the same time. Oh wow. I guess because she has light and time. Does he have a third eye? So brute force will not be enough. The secret stone of the Zona. <laughs> How interesting. That's so cool! <laughs> With the mask on. I forgot I still have that on. Secret Stone of the Zona. Interesting. The Gerudo Assault. I thought that was just some bit of jewelry on his head, but no, it's part of his head. He has a fucking third eye! What are the Zonai? Let's see, the Gerudo Chief, Ganondorf. In his push to conquer Hyrule, used a swarm of Mulduga to assault the castle. When Rauru uses his powers to unleash an attack that destroys the swarms, Ganondorf notices the Zonai secret stone on Rauru's right hand. The sight of it draws a sinister smile. Set this one again. Um, right. right. Okay. First things first. I want to see if that uh, fallen star is still there. And I'm not seeing the line of light, so it probably isn't. But I do see a shrine over there, which we may or may not have. Get off the tree. Also, we're on the ground again. You can take the, the mask off. Yeah, the uh, fallen star is no longer here. There is a camp of some sort? Blue marker. I'm getting battle music, but I'm not seeing a fight. Octorok rock nearby? 
lot to uh yeah. Alright, it's given up. Hmm. Oh, please. Just tell the recipe is written down. <laughs> Improvised. Oh, no. Princess Zelda's meat and rice bowl. Combine raw, plain raw meat, Italian rice, and rock salt. This flavorful, comforting dish is sure to fill you with energy, but be sure to follow the recipe to the letter. Mm. Uh, I think animal meat, right? Maybe. Uh. Uh. Mm. Who suggested? Who said monster meat? Oh no. Uh. First. <laughs> First rule of cooking, <laughs> always follow the recipe. Is, do I need to make that here? Will, will that, will that help you guys? A, uh, you see it from here. the trees there's a stable across the line but let's see a dark ah shit hey we saw a thing fall in the forest I can use to get on top of that Gotta get back to Hestu soon. Look at all those dust bows. We'll get to them eventually, I'm sure. Who's fighting? Examine the dandelion. When you hit it. Come on. Got him. <laughs> Was you would be this way. Oh, it's walkable. Huh, throwing spear. We have a picture of that. Actually. Oh, block puzzle. Right, that's a 
three of those. Um, I was actually expecting this to be a lake. Instead, it's like waist high water. Back to the road. log like this, I have to check both sides, check both sides. Nope. Oh shit! Hudson sign! Yeah, I chopped down trees for this. I think I only need two. Really? There we go. to this then.
got? Oh yeah. Need the stuff. So yes, this is Bo the big Goron sword attached to, uh, what's the sword we attach it to? Um, right, the, uh, sword of the hero. That's another, we got. There you are. Hi there, have we talked? Oh. Oh. What's going on? Looking for someone to talk to? Hey, that's fine by me, let's talk. Ah. Standing out in the open like this, you really see how the world's changed. A lot of new stuff gets me all that excited anymore. I mean, what could be ruins falling out of the sky? But a lot of ruins fell in Kakariko Village of the East. I say all of them are unusual. Hmm. Still unusual is totally usual now. Not interested. Hey, if it was really weird though, I'd be off to seeing a shot. Sure. Alright, we got the stable. But I think I might want to go past it to that shrine first so we can get the place from it. Riverside Stable. Beetle here. Yeah, we will do the stable after we get the fast travel to the stable. <laughs> Tajikat Shrine. this game which is to say not very because there is so much content um i wonder if we'll i don't want to take a break to play final fantasy 16 i want to spend my time building with logs really <laughs> just so we have something to climb to get up here. <laughs> Two logs there. Water. Oh. Is it really going to be this simple? I think it is. <laughs> yep. That's it. <laughs> I feel like I need to get up there. Oh. 
Maybe not, but we're gonna try anyway. Nope, no chest up here. Cross. There's still room for there to be a chest. Bunch of logs and some fans. Go across. All right, there's the chest. No control device. We really are just building with logs. We have enough of them. Is not. Now it is. Right? Right. No, I have no power. I can just leave it there. It's fine. Spiky shield. Durability up. I gotta take it out, but... It's just a wooden shield with some spikes on it. Which I guess would be good for approaching enemies, but, uh... Also good that has durability up, I guess. Not worth it. Ah, uh, uh, oh, motherfucker. Well, that's annoying. That's my own fault, though. But it doesn't really matter if we can just swim it. <laughs> no, other island over there. I was hurt. I guess I was from the forest Octorok, wherever the hell it was. Okay, so that's where our friend is. Um, yeah, we'll talk to you first. Huh. Probably gonna be about the flooded field, huh? Ow! I've been hearing. Oh, gotta get his accent back. I've been hearing some chirps and warbles from my little birds. 
They say some regular guests of this stable are late to arrive. Very late. Hmm. The chef here, Gotter, was going to meet them to learn a new recipe. One that Princess Zelda taught them. Oh, okay, it's those guys that I've already found. Rain is perfect, the perfect setting for a prime story. The keen reporter instincts won't let me leave this alone. A Gotter has been over there waiting for the guests to arrive. He's barely moved this whole time. Hmm. Let's see. It's not unusual for guests to decide not to show up, right? But uh, what, the, what if they're unable to? They're coming to share a recipe for Zelda too. Hmm. Part of this. Ah. Chirps and warbles are worth looking into. Gourmet's gone missing. Yeah, I know where they are. We found them already. But uh, we're doing the stable stuff first. Hey, I recognize you from Look Out Landed. You traveling alone, brother? Oh? We're thinking of going to Kakariko Village in the Nakluta region next. That's to the east. This guy's dying to see the ring ruins. Of course I am. Ruins ring like shape is one of a kind. I can't wait to taste them. I, I mean, chew them. I, I mean. Oh. We talked about this. Priceless ruins are for seeing and not eating. Anyway, Kakariko Village is where we're headed. Oh. See the ring from here. Kakariko Village is right over there next to that Skyview Tower. A ring shaped rock to the left of it is probably one of the ring ruins. You turn around on the journey, you can look at those two things and reorient yourself. Oh. They're harder to see in the rain, but that should clear up sooner or later. And why wait? Let's go! Oh. All right, big guy. We're off. See you on the road. Bye. gotten here yeah oh Riverside stable oh. supporting the stable association first time here's a pony point oh. again welcome to the stable a lot for this um yeah why not it is it's only 3 p.m. Meh. We'll do it. Oh. Maybe the rain will be done by the time we're awake. I am Melania, the god of horses. Mm. Baron Grasslands, there is a place called Zokasa Ridge. There, many excellent steeds roam wild and free. I only ever do the mo I don't do the Melania bed for the message. I do it for uh, the extra hearts and stamina. It's really overflow stamina. Oh. I barely ever hit it. Point. Oh. Yep. Here we go. Village located between two steep mountains. So visitors in the village. Be few and far between. Yeah, okay, we, we get it. What do you want? Mm. Oh. Mm. My mind is made up. I know just what to hang on that wall a picture of a mystical, blessed, great goddess statue. Oh, and if you're not already aware, the great in the name refers to how big these statues are. Quite enshrined throughout Hyrule, but not many people know their exact location. The closest great goddess statue to us allegedly stands in a temple southwest of Hyrule Field. Oh. But all my search attempts have come up empty. It's somewhere that's difficult to get to by horse. I don't need to see the real thing. If I had a drawing, uh, if I had a drawing of the great goddess statue, I could copy it down and put it up. I know exactly where that is. We have a fast travel right near there. Also, regular beds? Melania bed. The actual bed looks no different, but it's got this stuff up top. And a Melania mask. Hmm. Alright, we got Beetle. Probably should sell some stuff, huh? What's the news? Rito Village safe from Cumulus Crisis. 
returns to normal with the departure of the massive cloud. As in, and in related news, the Stormwind Ark, a ship straight out of Legends of the Rito, has appeared. Mm. I'm hearing about a fabled savior of the Rito tribe. I thought for sure it was a fairy tale. Mm. It's wrong. <laughs> okay, let's see the well. There's always a well. Hello. Mm. So I gather my thoughts. Under his sword is more than fable and far closer to fact. Can truly defeat any monster? Can truly exist in our rule? Yes and yes. So likely to be found in the something something woods. Huh? Oh, huh? Oh, tell me, how long have you been there? You didn't happen to overhear what I was saying, did you? Legendary sword? <laughs> ah, well, you heard. I thought as much, but I have nothing to fear. Staying comforted by the only by. Uh, that only the Chosen One can wield a legendary sword that defeats any monster. Uh -huh. Chosen One isn't an eavesdrop. He, he is an eve that is perfectly fine with being dropped in awe. Me, I mean. Uh... Uh, let me let me share this a bit openly. Some days ago, my, I bid farewell to my dear wife, Sorelia, who set out for Lakeside Stable. I myself now at this stable, but the something-something woods that I seek is still far away. Uh -huh. Forgive me if I have no more time for eavesdroppers. And you have to find that legendary sword to protect my dear wife. Uh, why do we say legendary sword again? <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna have to say. We got sheep. We got cuckoos. We got this guy and a well. Oh. Oh, this is right. Agus and the rest have to cross that bridge to get here, but what's going on? Oh. Wait, better voice for this guy. Uh, I didn't notice you there, you customer. I'm looking for sta if you're looking for stable services, head over the counter. I'm waiting here to greet some guests we were expecting. It's full pass when they were they said they'd be arriving. I'm extremely worried. Oh. Always crossed Owen Bridge in the past when they were coming here. I figured if I kept not on the bridge, I'd catch sight of them eventually. Yes, they're all going amazed. Their leader, a chef named Agus, has taught me a lot about cooking. Oh. They're all excited to visit, and I was looking forward to it. They have a recipe from Princess Zelda to share. Agus and the others have tents, and maybe they're taking a trip nice and slow camp along the way. Still, they haven't shown up yet. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so I do have to go and find them and then say that oh, we're here for them. Well, first. Oh. Okay. Got building materials. Ah. Play more. Yes, Rusty Claymore. No, it's a spear. Rusty Halbert. Wait, do I have pictures of the rusty ones? I feel like I must at this point. Come on. There we go. That's why we have the building materials. Wait, no, that's 
Mm, might be enough. Fell over, but my idea, I think, is sound. I can move this shit around. Do I just need to get up high enough to pull it out? Okay, that's what I need to do. <laughs> the whole thing fucking exploded. Yep. Oh, I have room for it. Now oh, it's a throwing sphere. Back up nine. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can go and get those gourmets. Spy, are you? Are you the way I need to go? Technically. No, you're actually a lot farther. So we're not going to bother with you right now. I guess I could have actually taken out my horse, huh? That would have been faster. There they are. I always forget my horse. There's so much more stuff to do when I'm not on it. I guess I do have to make it as written. It's what, just it's meat, salt, and rice. I do have rice, don't I? I do, okay, good. I should have tried this when I was here. I wouldn't have had to come back. <laughs> Meat and rice bowl. Aww. There we go. Yo, here it is. Aww. Hey, you, yeah, you, can I have the meat and rice bowl? Please, please, I need to eat it. Uh -huh. Yes, I recognize his flavor. <laughs> this is a recipe Princess Zelda shared with us. Jute, Tally, and Day, hurry up and take a bite of this. <laughs> oh, 
well, thank you for helping us. We were not doing well at all. Rinta Zelda told us how to cook this dish quite some time ago. We ran into her once during our travels. She was full of kindness for us, despite our group being a little ragged on the road. Uh. But I do remember now that she said we need to follow the recipe exactly. Uh, whose bright idea was it to substitute monster parts in place of the real meat? Uh. That was, was me. I'm sorry. I'm just curious what they would taste like. He thought maybe her recipe would work well with monster parts. Ah. The road to gourmet greatness is littered with stuff you, you wouldn't think is tasty. Gotta expand your palate. Oh. You know, now's not the time to sit and figure out best practices for future dietary exploits. We gotta get to Riverside Stable. We're so late. I'm sure Goddard has been worrying about us. Yeah, he has. <laughs> we really are grateful for your help. Let me say again on behalf of everyone, thank you. You don't even know us, but you have, but you used valuable ingredients to save us from ourselves. Here, please take this. Oh, we get the ingredients mm. back. Nice. Mm. Ooh, and raw gourmet meat. <laughs> we like cooking with the best raw meat when we can have it. You can use all that to cook yourself a meat and rice bowl sometime. Anyway, uh, we better get ready and head to Riverside Stables since we plan to be there well before now. Ah. I have to get going. Hopefully we'll run into each other in the future. All right. Huh? Well, if it isn't my partner. Hi. Oh, are we back? No, he came here. Oh. Any luck finding those missing travelers yet? It was just starting to scout for them from the sky when I saw you down here. You chased down any leads at all? I chased down the people. Oh. What? They were right here too? Uh, too queasy to even move? And yet you helped them get back on their feet again? Mm. Interesting! So the chirps and warbles were really onto something. I'm impressed that Princess Zelda's vast knowledge includes things I wouldn't expect, like recipes for dishes. Mm. We've worked we worked together to chase four of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. And just one other thing, Tracy sent along a bonus for all our hard work. The froggy sleeve! Okay, so I don't need to go back there to get it, I need to get them here. I just, just from doing the quest, that's cool. It's pretty rare gear that will make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll still help you reach great new heights, partner. A recipe from Princess Zelda, perfect for getting folks into fighting shape. Yeah, the article almost writes itself. Almost. Ah. So long! <laughs> Gourmet's gone missing. Complete. And we have the froggy sleeve. It honestly looks pretty good. It is one sleeve, though, which is kind of odd for something that you're supposed to climb with. Um, but I'll definitely wait till we have all three pieces before I recolor it, because I don't really mind the color at the moment. Um. Okay, uh, back to the stable, or... No, no, I guess, I guess we completed that. Give me a moment. This is what I mean when I say I want to do things like in, uh, like as I get them. I feel like they're not who I need to talk to. Oh, 
Hello. I was starting to worry for a while there, but everyone arrived safely. In fact, I was just asking Agus about the meat and rice bowl recipe. He's used raw meat in the dish and not straight from the recipe. You mustn't get that wrong. Clearly, Princess Zelda is just as capable of chef as she is a princess adventurer all around delight. Imagine if we could get her to teach a cooking class at our stable someday. This person. Uh, it's no use. What should I do? You sort this out and fast or I'm gonna be in big trouble. What's wrong? <laughs> ah, forget me! Oh, I'm looking for someone else. Maybe don't sneak up on a guy who's clearly having a bad day. I'm sure you were sober from the stable. Maybe <laughs> the guy who saved us after that mishap with the monster parts, right? You took a bad meal. Talk about a bad meal. Oh man, I forget what voice I gave this guy. I didn't realize he was one of the Ormonds. See, so, because you're such a helpful sort, maybe you can help me out in the bind I'm in now. There used to be six cuckoos here, see? I was hungry, I figured there were cuckoos or eggs. I got close, all except one flew away. Looks like I stole them. You know what happens to cuckoo thieves around here? Neither do I, but probably nothing good! Mm. I know what you're thinking. How far must they, could they get with those little wings? They must be nearby. You're right about that, but as soon as I get close, they'll scram. I need to get the other five cuckoos back inside the fence before someone from the stable finds out. Sounds like a job for Sneaky Suit. Also, Eggy. one out on a rock there. Be worried. Oh, here are their tents. Cool. Am I? No, of course not. to do is hit the water and it's back where it started. Try to throw it while in the air. Right. Well, there's wood. And where there's wood, there's building materials. I know what I meant. Trying to hit too many things at once. That's all I really need, yeah? Always one of these quests in the Zelda game. <laughs> Gotta collect the cuckoos. It's always a thing. The guy in the rock wasn't gonna run away because there was nowhere to run. This guy easily run. Many Zelda games holding a cuckoo will cause you to glide when you jump, but. Usually jump off an edge. 
Yes. Around here, not so much. Missing any? Maybe I didn't need to sneak up on them. He was saying they'd run away as soon as he got close, but maybe it was just him. <laughs> there should be one more, I think? I have an idea of where it might be. Get a bird's eye view that. There you are. Yes, you do glide! Feathered fugitives complete. Oh, I have to get those cuckoos back inside the fence or. Huh? What? The missing cuckoos! One, two, three, four, five! Five? All five are here! Uh -huh. Your cuckoo search is coming along nicely, huh? <laughs> you did it! It's almost embarrassing. After all your help with that meat and rice bowl incident, you saved my hide yet again! You're my hero! Oh. It's just, how do I put this? I really don't want anyone to know the, uh, you know, what's what missing. So, here. I think of this as hush money and uh yes that's what it is <laughs> but the operative word there is money you like money don't you so take it <laughs> now let's both pretend this never happened farewell hilarious okay I've spoken to you before, yeah? No, you haven't. Hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> I keep hearing about the stylish clothes they make in Athena Village. Take it from me, you can't underestimate the power of a good wardrobe. Uh. Used to be a total wallflower, then I learned how to dress myself, and boom, I was a new woman. You should go to Athena Village, try a new look for yourself. Look at the far side of Nukluda in Southeast Hyrule. Never know, it might change your life. Well, guess what? I've been there! And take a look at this! Fuck. I thought she'd react to the CC hat. Hey. Sa -sa. What have you got? <laughs> I mean, we don't have any of these. We have some of all the others. So. <laughs> right. All right. It's like, was I actually going to sell stuff from here? Maybe. We do have a lot of meat. Shit, I have a lot of meat. sell 200. And get 1600. Wow! Yeah, I could sell stuff here too. To uh, free up some space. Um, depends on what I would or wouldn't want. Like, the elixirs, probably don't really need them. It's 
especially with cold resistance. I have other spicy looks as well. Oh, these are all the one value, then that's the two value. Leave one of each. Wow! I have a shit ton of rupees now. Mostly the elixirs are Especially if I have the clothes to cover what, it, what they give me. Yay! I, I hadn't even thought. I had so Yay. much meat. Just sell it. Wow! Okay. Let's see. Where was I going to go from here? Exploring. I, I think this is Hyrule Field. Oh, and that will lead us toward the last great fairy. Hmm. One moment. I'm about to end the stream, but uh, I'm to make sure I know what I'm doing. If we're going somewhere from here or going back somewhere. Good question. go for this. I don't know if we're going to get this yet. Maybe. But we do need to go back to Lookout Landing. But this is a very good piece of armor. Well, it's an okay piece of armor. It's, it's the rubber armor. Since it's resistant to electricity. Um, yeah, you know what? We can do that later. Next time, we'll, we'll start up in Lookout Landing. Um, and while I would normally say, oh, a stable is a good place to end, I specifically want to end at a stable that is close to a ferry. So either this one. Yeah, you're farther away. Oh, right, all the way up there. Over here. And then we'll be done for the night. Alright, I'll just end it here. Because you know what I'm going to do at off stream is amiibo stuff and upgrading at the ferry. Right. Let's see who's online. Hmm. I went there yesterday, though. Maybe not again. So it is a completely different special event. Um, who else is online? What are they doing? Yeah, no one else is quite so interesting. All right, so I'm gonna send you back to Takahata 101, and it is. I think the title is Zoomer educates a couple of boomers, which isn't exactly true, but it's bound to be funny. All right. Good, that's working. And until next time, this is the Pirate King, signing off.
Have a good night.